So guys, uh, I just played with my LeBron 20s again, and this is the white debut colorway. They also are calling this the Oreo colorway, but I tested on my other foot the new South Beast one. This is actually my friend's pair. I'm thinking of getting one. Let me know in the comments down below if I should get one pair. Because I'm really, really liking the pink colors of this one. It's not the brightest pink, which I like. It's a very subtle pink and a little muted pink. And it has a nice leather or animal print here. That is like a tiger print. Of course, this colorway is dedicated to South Beach, LeBron's time during his Miami days. So this is named the South Beast or the South Beach Beast. The main difference between this pair and the debut colorway is the upper. The net on the Oreo or the debut colorway, while on the South Beast, it has this very nice leather. So this is actually more expensive by $20 or 1,000 pesos. It has a full length tumbled leather from the forefoot to the heel. And I actually think this is real leather, or I'm not pretty sure. Yeah, it smells like real leather. And in terms of performance, I would say the main difference between these two is the support, the lateral support that you'll be getting. This has, I think, better lateral support because it's leather. There's not much stretch to the material compared to a knit upper. You can see it here in my B-roll that on the debut colorway, it has a little bit of stretch laterally when I'm doing lateral moves. But here on the South Beast, when I was doing lateral moves, it was really containing my foot laterally. So if you want to try LeBron but you don't want the net upper, this is the way to go. I think there will be another one coming out, by, but I think that will be a little bit more limited. So if you can get this pair, it has a more support laterally, a ton of support all throughout the sneaker. But what's nice about this knit is it has a little bit more ventilation to the entire part of the sneaker because the only knit material here is around the tongue, this part of the tongue, then this one is also leather. Back part is both leather too. That's it on the difference between the two. So in terms of the sizing, um, I went 10 and a half, half size down on the debut on my red colorway and it fits me better after breaking them in because on my high machine there's a little bit more space laterally and around the heel but nothing too serious but I like the fit more of the LeBron 20s when I went half a size down. But here on the South Beast, I tried this is a US 11. I think if you're going for this colorway get your true to size if you're a regular footer and half size up if you're a white footer because the material is less forgiving compared to the debut or the breads and the time machine. So this doesn't have that much stretch to material. So in terms of containment, if I went half a size down here, it will be a little bit too snug around the midfoot. So true to size on the South Beast, the leather upper. If you are getting the knit upper, go half a size down for regular footer too. So white footer here, true to size. So the price difference, $20 more expensive or $1,000 more expensive on the South Beast, the leather upper. This one is around $200. The $200, this is $220. So that's it on my comparison between the two LeBron 20s. Both are amazing basketball sneaker. And as for the traction, this has a more milky, consistent traction compared to this bluish icy sole. But in terms of grip, Pretty much the same grip. So that's it on this video. Hope I help you guys out once again. This is Mark Chess. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.